or widget areas as they apply to our lab site settings. Um, if you recall in our early videos, we've already updated our rotation, uh, updated our graphic, and our profile image. Now, for those of you who might have kind of jumped to this right away, you go to Save Changes, and you come to your page here, you'll notice there's nothing here. Now, why is that? Well, simply put, um, even though you've made your changes here, these changes aren't going to show up here until you actually go to your widgets area, which is under Appearance here. And in your widgets area, you want to go to Home Left, Home Center, and Home Right. That what controls or basically determines what's going to be here on your home page of your site. Um, in our Home Left here, we have our custom menu, of course, which we've talked about in another video. Home Center is empty and Home Right is empty. Now, in our previous videos, you might have recalled there was a graphic here of a quote and an image here. Um, I'm going to flip those just to kind of show you what happens. So let's go ahead and look for our site quotation widget, put it in our home right. And there's our quote here appearing. Um, we're going to take a profile image, put it here, and this is going to be, of course, our uh, image, that, our site image that we uh, applied earlier. And uh, I'll go ahead and actually, let's just change it up a little more. Uh, let's put our site graphic underneath our quote. Save all those changes. Come to our site, refresh, and there we get everything applied. Now, you know, it doesn't look too great, of course, but mostly I'm going to flip this around. Um, maybe you want to go ahead and put the menu here, or put the menu in the center, or what have you. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and put this image here in home left. Put our quote where it was before in the center, same with our graphic, and let's put our menu all on the right. Once you've done that, refresh, and now we've got everything looking a little different. Of course, um, you'll probably want to go into your CSS and apply a width to this area, since the center should be here. Um, and that you can do under our Genesis Simple Custom CSS. But, you know, kind of gives you an idea of what kind of changes you need to make. In the meantime, we'll go ahead and put this back to how it was before. Refresh. And our site's looking like how it did before. Um, and of course, you can fit in other things here. Maybe we had some text here under this image, which I'll go ahead and reapply. There we are. And yeah, so you can fit whatever you need to within these three areas here for this home page. Just keep in mind that if it's a little too big, you may have to go back to the CSS and uh, play with it a little bit.